Ah, my sweet dear lady Penelope, this tears most simply divine, wouldn't you agree my dear? Why of course Lord Harold, it is most certainly divine and so up to my standards. However, it is a shame that they had to serve us a lovely tea in this common coffee mugs. I mean, what's wrong with a good old-fashioned teacup? Well look at what we have here, if it isn't Lord and Lady Slobbington. Oh my! It's a child, yuck, get away from me you filthy urchin. No you. Little girl, where are your parents? That's for me to know, and for you to find out, Mr. Monopoly. Well, I never. Such impudence. How dare you speak to me in such a man you beastly child. Well I just did, and what are you going to do about it Lord Snobby Snob Snob? You wretched child, I will have you know that this is mine and my husband's private time. Don't your parents teach you any manners and tell you not to show up uninvited to places? Bitch please, I'm Bailey Campbell, and I don't have any manners. Oh my goodness, Lord Harold, did you hear that? She used forbidden language in my presence. I most certainly did. Little girl, who in God's name taught you to speak in such a disgusting manner? Why, I taught myself, ain't I a clever and funny girl? No, you are very rude and fear old child. Where in God's name your manners you street urchin? I don't know, I must have left them at home. Oh wait, I just remembered, I don't have any, because manners are for loser babies. Lord Harold, this child's presence and manners has offended me ever so greatly, we must find her parents at once. Well, good luck with that lady snooty underpants, because I am not telling you where they are. Now see here, young lady, this is not how one behaves in the presence of a lord and lady. One must exhibit decorum and grace. Oh bloody hell! Have you heard yourself? Decorum and grace? Seriously? You sound like you stepped straight out of a history book. Well, I never. The nerve of some children, I would have never dared to behave like that when I was a child. You know, for a couple of poshy Poshingtons, you're pretty easy to ruffle, it's kind of fun. Lord Harold. Summon the horse and carriage at once, I feel tainted in the presence of this urchin. Hey! Who are you calling an urchin you stuck up ho? That is quite enough. I suggest you leave at once, you are causing my dear wife a huge amount of distress. Oh don't worry, I'm going you fucking posh old fart, you're both boring as shit anyway. And your wife is a dirty rat back ho. Oh my! Lord Harold, catch me, I think I'm going to faint. Ugh! What a disgraceful little child! 